What is up, everybody? The Hunter GT with thehuntergt.com. That's right. Go check out the website. Got the metal detecting blog over there, social media links, about me page, contact me, all sorts of rad stuff over there. Thehuntergt.com. What is going on today? We are at a new park. I scouted out a new old park. It's from the 50s, not terribly old. Not as old as the other park, but I think there's a chance for silver here. Why? Because I just hit a ton of clad and a wheat penny, all from the 60s. Not all, but a tons of 70s, early 70s, early 60s coins that were pennies and like 66 dime, a 67 quarter, a 65 dime, a 65 quarter, or so all with the amphibio. I had the 11 by 7 coil with the amphibio. I hunted about, oh, an hour and a half. I got that footage. I'm, I think I'm just gonna do a dual hunt footage, a dual simplex and amphibio one here. So now we got the simplex out with the big 11 inch DD coil. The amphibio, I was rocking the 11 by seven. So we'll see what we find out with the simplex. We got four highways merging back there. Sorry about all the uh, noise. Not four highways, but like four different sections. One's merging on. There's one, two, three right there. And uh, yeah, so it's the I it's the 180, the 99, 41 loops around over here somewhere. I want to say it's bonkers, bonkers traffic right here. So excuse the noise, excuse the highway noise. It is what it is. So we're gonna go hunt this park with the simplex and see what we find now. And we got the amphibio footage that we'll throw on there as well. You want to pick one of these bad boys up? The amphibio, the simplex, the cruiser, the impact, whatever. Who are you gonna call? Why me, of course, the Hunter GT. I am a Nocta Macro dealer. Love to have your business. Contact me on the website via email, thehuntergt at gmail. You know how to get a hold of me. Facebook, whatever. Links down below. Without further ado, shut your face, the Hunter GT. Let's go find us some stuff. Dime penny signal. Two inches. Running five tone today. We shall see what it is. Just a clad dime. Two inches. Check out the mushrooms. That one dropped some spores and they turned all gooey, like inky. I know there's like an inky cap type mushroom. I don't think this is one. But it dropped like some gooey, nasty spores. There's another little one popping up right there. That one's getting ready to uh, open up and drop its spores. Another one popping through the grass right here. You see him? Kind of cool. Surface fine, just laying there. Quarter. But it was laying like that. And from a distance, I don't know, that looks like something good. Like a real or something good like that. And it says, San Antonio Mission. It's 2019, it's a Texas, it says. San Antonio Missions, Texas. So, man, I thought that was like a real or something. I was like, oh man, this is the greatest surface find ever. Yes. 2019 quarter, get out of here. Five inches. Hmm, we'll see. In a couple of little trinkets. Kind of cool. Not silver or anything like that. I wish that it was uh, silver. This one's corroding pretty badly. So, I don't know what that is. It's like half a face. I don't know what the heck that is. Like some abstract Picasso art there or something. I think that's an eyeball there and there's one there. I don't know what the heck that is. It's two halves. I think it's one of those friendship type things, a half and a half. And then this one here, that looks like it might be silver or something, but it's not. Um, it's just a solid hunk of whatever, stainless steel probably. On to the next. Come on, man. 1965, one year off. It's like the fourth one this month. Getting ridiculous. Two in one day. That's agonizing. Look at that. 1965. I had a dime and now a quarter back to back. Back to back. Almost silver. Yeah. Check it out. So it's just a it's just a penny. But look at the dirt. That's the dirt imprint of the backside. See the uh 
memorial building in it right there in the dirt kind of cool I don't know I cheese out on stuff like that I think that's pretty cool the way it leaves the little imprint when you can pull the imprint out with the coin that's pretty awesome Let's see what year we got on the coin a 80 something or other it's upside down I can't tell on to the next a real shallow 80 81 Two inches. Let's find out. Hey, good job, Amphibio. Not silver, but it's a wheat penny. Look at that. 19, what's it say? 53. 1953 on the year. Yeah, real shallow. About two inches down or so. Good stuff. On to the next. Look at that. What year does that say? Huh? 1977. Get out of here with that. Starting to hit dimes now. Get out of here with that. Uh, uh, uh. Quarter signal. Couple inches. Yep. Clyde quarter. 2013. Quarter signal. Another one. A lot of quarters here so far. Ah. A couple inches. Took like about four off camera so far that were iffy. Ooh, again. That's pretty cool. It's just a clad quarter. Um, 1998 is the year. But look, you can see the imprint. See the imprint right there? Where the quarter was just chilling like that it fell down and then tumbled back in it was the perfect plug it was the perfect little flip the quarter boom right there like that that's how it's done ladies and gents quarter signal couple inches one to two inches, not too deep. Pretty shallow park, just like all the others around here. This hard, compact dirt. I mean, it just rained for like two weeks straight, and this dirt's already rock hard. Clad quarter, just like it said. 83. Whew. Sorry about the noise. A lot of traffic right here by this fence line. A lot of traffic. We will never know what year that one is. Look at that. Man, that's a sharp mower blade right there, boy. I tell you what. That is one sharp mower blade. Man, old Abe almost got a chop saw across his face. And again. Oh, man, look. That's a real beauty right there. You can still see the face a little bit in it. Ooh-wee. I love that. I don't know why that... It gets me. It gets me. Just a state's quarter. But the imprint. The imprint's what really matters. A nickel signal. Pretty shallow one. Should be a shallow nickel. Should be. Well, the Simplex knew that it was a nickel. A 2013 Liberty nickel. These new ones that say Liberty on them. That's it. For being so simple. You're pretty smart there, Simplex. Oh quarter signal but I don't have the headphones turned off there we go there we go real shallow real shallow right there here I'm gonna dig this one live everybody always asks me hunter GT why don't you ever dig live on camera how come you always just not everybody but I always get some smart ass little guy in the comment section that how come you always just go straight to the fine? Well, number one, I don't have a tripod. I'm not gonna wear a GoPro on my head looking like an idiot at the park. I don't have a cameraman like half the channels out here that do it team hunts. Ooh, look, there it is again. There it is again. I see the little coin spot. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. So oh, it's gotta be right here. Yeah, this is why. This is why I don't dig one hand. Holding the, holding the, uh, the phone the whole time. Yeah, I don't have a tripod. I don't have a cameraman. Uh, I don't want to carry around a bunch of... I like metal detecting, okay? The, the the video secondary. I like the metal detecting part. So here we go. Live on camera. A clad quarter. Just for you guys. A 1989, it looks like. Right there. Boom, bam. On to the next. 
a surface just laying right there what year is it what year 1977 come on man come on well ladies and gents I think I'm gonna call it a day just a short little video short little hunt I didn't stay out here too long um, but I use the simplex and amphibio both uh, about here maybe three four hours something like that today at this park and uh, did a little scouting driving around for some other parks today as well but nothing other than the wheat penny and a little pendant lots of clad tons of climbing mean, I got a pocket full probably 30 40 coins came out of the ground here today so I'll be back I'll clean it up with the clad I don't mind clad clad is rad to me I don't metal detect you know to find the most spectacular finds I just like doing the review videos I like just pumping out videos um, some of you may find them boring. Some of you may want to go look at the guys that find nothing but silver and gold and every single find on every single video. Hey, it is what it is. This is real metal detecting, baby. Sometimes you get awesome stuff. Sometimes, hey, it's been treating me bad lately. I've been going weeks and weeks without silver or anything good. I mean, I'm on a silver drought for a couple months now, actually. A couple months, I don't think I found silver. So, none with the Simplex. The Simplex has yet to find me silver little disappointed in that aspect it's been finding me deep copper deep copper and wheat pennies and stuff but no silver just yet all right guys hope you enjoy the video all the same hunter gt signing off i will see you on the next video